It's one of the largest porn sites in the world and it's attracting a notoriety it may not want. Pornhub, owned by MindGeek, is being accused of distributing people's images without their consent, of indirectly profiting off of human trafficking, and even distributing child pornography. I'm Christina Howarn, and the Montreal-based company has been the subject of a parliamentary probe. They're the subject of several lawsuits filed all around the world, including one filed right here in Canada. Tonight, for the first time, Jane Doe, the woman leading the charge, is speaking out exclusively with City News. A warning, some viewers may find this story disturbing. Early 2020, I found, um, or I came across a video where I was approximately 12 years old. Um, and I could tell just based on the still image what occurred in the video. Known in court only as Jane Doe, she tells City News the link was sent to her by a concerned friend. She says it showed her rape part of a years-long ordeal of sexual abuse, and it wasn't the only video. There were links to others, and I was able to locate um, more videos by going through the comments section. That this was still me around the same age um, and different events. And it's just, um, it really took my breath away. The $600 million class action lawsuit alleges that up until recently, MindGeek had no policies or procedures to investigate content users' practices or reputation, steps to ensure each video was obtained with consent, and they did not have enough properly trained moderators to review footage for sex trafficking, rape, or underage people, among many other allegations. MindGeek declined to comment on the case. I feel like it had to have been so incredibly obvious to anybody watching it that this was a child. In February, MindGeek's senior leadership testified at parliamentary hearings that they had introduced new age verification processes, had human moderators watch every single video, and increased user reporting features for and speedy removal of inappropriate content. On Pornhub's website, they had a link where you could go and submit for content removal. And I submitted that, but um, even if Pornhub takes it down, it'll just resurface somewhere else because there's those download features available. It's always going to be there. In Jane Doe's case, she says she received a generic response about five days after she reported the video. She's not certain if it's been removed, but several other victims testified that Pornhub made it difficult to have content taken down. The company says it has since removed the download function for all but paid and verified content. It really sucks to think that it doesn't matter what, how old I am, that my sexual abuse as a child is immortalized in videos and not just on somebody's private computer, but on the internet. It's never going to go away. Do you think that MindGeek takes this seriously? It doesn't feel like they understand the true impact of their actions. Anytime somebody comes up to you and says, hey, I think I recognized you from somewhere, instantly you're going, oh my God, where do you recognize me from? Is this just because you recognize somewhere from where I work or is this because you've seen me online? Now, Visa and MasterCard have ended their relationship with the porn giant, and over the past 18 months, much of the content from that site has been removed. Next week, our exclusive investigation into sex trafficking continues with a look at what can be done to end this abuse.